Hey again there, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another Resurrection Review. We're going to be diving into a brand new series right now. It's going to be based around action movies, specifically 80s action movies. Now, what I'm going to call this, my original title was an August of 80s action movies. But most of August has flown by. It's been a long time since I put up a video. And so I don't feel comfortable calling it an August of 80s action movies. Instead, I'm going to call it Eight Days of 80s Action. And I'm going to try and put up a video every day for eight days based solely around 80s action movies. Might end up with more videos than that, but today's going to be the starting point. It's a Saturday. Um, it's a Saturday afternoon, in fact. I've got a little bit of time on my hands, wanted to start this. I've already watched one movie that I'm preparing to review pretty much as soon as this video ends. And I've compiled a list of my top five favorite 80s action movies. Now, as I've saying, these are 80s action movies. These are not my favorite action movies of all time, but at least three or four of them are, in fact, in my top five or ten list simply because the 80s was a brilliant time for action movies. Maybe the best time for action movies, to be perfectly honest. But, as always, as I did with the beginning of the Summer of Slash, I'm going to do a, a little bit of um, some honorable mentions up front as well, because I know there's some of you guys that uh, would kill me if I didn't at least mention some of these movies. Um, and might think I'm crazy for liking some of the ones that I do in my top five. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to it. So, first honorable mention. I've got five uh, to six or seven honorable mentions. First one, Rambo. I like all three movies to a degree. I prefer, out of all of them, my favorite one has got to be um, First Blood Part 2. Uh, Rambo First Blood Part 2. But the original First Blood's a great movie as well. So I say definitely check out all these movies if you got the chance. This is just a little uh, trilogy collection. I think it's got a couple of commentaries. Uh, Sylvester Stallone commentary, never before seen alternate ending of First Blood, uh, some deleted scenes on Rambo 3. Not a whole lot on everything, but uh, on every disc, but still a nice little way to own the trilogy. And I got this really cheap as well, so there you go. Rambo, First Blood Part 2 specifically. My next one, and this is an honorable mention. This is not actually part of my top ten. Some people are going to think I'm crazy, but Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> in The Terminator. I'm not the biggest Terminator fan. I, I love the second one. I think um, Judgment Day is a better movie by far, a funner movie, a, just more of a balls out action movie. This is um, a really good mixture of horror, sci-fi, and action. But uh, there's just some things in this movie that kind of hold me back from liking it, liking it the best. Uh, I still really enjoy it though. It's why it's an honorable mention. I really love this movie. So yeah, The Terminator. Next up, John Woo's The Killer. I'm a big fan of John Woo as a person and as a filmmaker. Love his films, and uh, The Killer is just a brilliant foreign film. If you haven't seen The Killer, I say definitely check it out. If you can find the um, Dragon Dynasty release here, it's got some good special features, and it's got a really, really good audio commentary. So, yeah, The Killer starring Chow Yun-Fat. Brilliant movie. Next up, John Carpenter Classic. Escape from New York. If you haven't seen Escape from New York, you've got to, and you've got to own this Screen Factory edition. Fantastic stuff. Awesome cover art there. Uh, really good acting, really good action scenes. I love Kurt Russell, of course. And Kurt Russell is actually my... Uh, he's, he's in my number one favorite action movie of all time. Let's just say that. Escape from New York, really brilliant movie. Can't say enough good things about it. John Carpenter. I mean, there's a couple things that hold me back in this movie, but mostly, I've got to say, just fantastic. 
Next up, I've got the Alien Anthology, and I'm specifically alluding to the only 80s Alien movie, which is Aliens. Brilliant movie. Maybe even a little bit more than just an action movie, but a brilliant movie. Um, I love it to death. Uh, don't really have much against it. I'd say it's probably the closest to being in my top five, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's kind of a tie between this one, Escape from New York, and The Killer. But uh, Aliens is a really, really great movie. I can't say enough good things about it. So there we go. However, there are five 80s action movies I prefer to these. And we're going to go ahead and go through them right now. Number five, another Arnold Schwarzenegger 80s classic, Predator. This is the Ultimate Hunter edition. Pretty good transfer, pretty good sound. Mostly I think the sound's the best here. There are some people who have a, a little bit of a problem with the, uh, um, what do you call it, the, the film transfer. It's kind of like squashed. I guess I can see that as well, but I really love this movie, and this is a good way to own it. It's got a whole bunch of special features, audio commentary stuff. Really, really great movie and a great Blu-ray release overall, I believe, as well. Probably be reviewing this one sometime soon as well. Within these eight days, I'm going to try and review all of my top five. So that was number five, Predator. Number four, I'm going to go with the Chuck Norris Classic. This is a trilogy, but, or not a trilogy, but this is a three-pack. But my number four is actually Lone Wolf McQuaid, the one right in the middle. And it should be right in the middle. It's a brilliant movie, really well-directed, uh, sorry, well-directed, really, really good uh, score to this one. Chuck does a brilliant job. He's probably the best actor. This is the best acting he's ever been. Uh, sorry, the best acting he's ever done. Sorry, I'm screwing up a bunch, guys. Probably the best acting he's ever done. Really, really great movie. Um, cinematography's really good here. Action scenes are brilliant. The, his character's just so good. The, the writing is actually pretty darn good in this movie. I, I gotta say, Lone Wolf McQuaid, really, really good 80s action movie. Uh, 1983, probably... It's up there with my favorite movies of 83. I'm not a big 83 fan, but 1983, <laughs> probably my favorite movie is Lone Wolf McQuaid. Really, really fun movie. Number three, the one that most people would consider to be the greatest action movie of all time. And I'm going to throw in a caveat here after I list this one. Um, so, in your opinion, this could be the best action movie on this list. But this is... Um, the classic Bruce Willis in Die Hard. I don't have this on Blu-ray, unfortunately, but love Die Hard. I mean, watch it at least once a year. Really great movie. I'm going to watch it again sometime soon. It's just so good. Can't say enough great things about it. A great villain, a great hero, really good writing, the direction's perfect, all the technical qualities. Got a really good score. So much stuff about this movie is just fantastic. So, there's Die Hard. Alright, so the caveat I was going to throw in. I consider these two movies action movies. Some people might not. But these two are, without a doubt, if you consider them action movies, these are my favorite action movies of all time. So, since it's my video, we're going to go on and call them action movies, regardless. And they both star the great Kurt Russell. Now, while I'll go ahead and say that I think my favorite action movie hero is Chuck Norris, I'm going to say that Kurt Russell's my favorite actor who's in action movies. That's kind of a different thing. I just love Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell is probably in my top five favorite actors of all time. We're going to go ahead and get into it, though. This, uh, this two-punch of Kurt Russell awesomeness. Number two is Big Trouble in Little China. Brilliant movie. Fantastic score. Really good writing. Uh, really good acting. The, the directing, of course, is perfect. It's John Carpenter. Dean Cundy behind the DP cam. Uh, just, just perfect. Perfect. I love this movie. Can't say enough good things about it. It's also a comedy. I think mostly this movie is a comedy above anything else. And it excels at that. 
it's inventive, it's got such a crazy plot, got such weird special effects, everything in this movie, to me, just screams 80s awesomeness. Love Big Trouble in Little China. Definitely check it out if you haven't. Buy it. It's, it's so good. And Scream Factory is going to be coming up with a special edition, collector's edition, Blu-ray release of this movie. I'm really looking forward to that. This is going to be this is going to be replaced, but this Blu-ray itself is also really good. Definitely check it out if you have it. Big Trouble in Little China is perfect. <laughs> I just love that movie. Perfect in almost every way. And then my number one, which is also my favorite horror movie of all time. The best action movie of all time. The best horror movie of all time, in my opinion. Both of these things, in my opinion. Excuse me. John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing. Not enough good things I can say about it. And so, because of that, I'm just going to hold off until I watch this movie and review it for you fairly soon. I'll, I'll leave it just to say this. The best special effects of all time. The best horror effects, specifically, of all time. It, it perfectly blends sci-fi, horror, suspense, somewhat of a western vibe, and of course just elements of action and adventure all together into one. The Thing is the action movie, the horror movie for me. Brilliant. Too many good things to say about this. And I'll, I'll leave it at one more thing. Kurt Russell, perfect. Pitch perfect in this movie. Uh, a varied... Uh, a, a varied role for him, in fact, in some ways, I think. I, I think it's actually maybe understated how good he is in this movie. Really, just a fantastic film. And I can't say enough good things about it. So, I will leave the rest of my opinions on this to when I can actually watch it and review it for you. The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. Top three or five, probably. So, The Thing. And that's it. Those are my top five, with honorable mentions, action movies of all time. Rock on. If you like, subscribe. I'll talk to you later. And here in just a second, I'm going to do a review of the first action movie we're going to be reviewing on this channel for this series. Rock on. Bye-bye.